Hey guys, welcome back. Okay, really quick video. This is just a follow-up from the Prusa Slicer video I showed the other day. Uh, I wanted to show that I printed two no, 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 RA7 heads and that none of the low areas fell in. They don't have any weird spots where anything fell through. It worked really, really great. And that's all due to those little bridges that were made in the Prusa Slicer that I mentioned before. And I printed both of these in about roughly 36 hours um, with one roll of filament. Filament number two just finished printing and it made it just barely uh, on one roll of filament two RA7 helmets. Uh, I was kind of worried because these ports here take a lot of filament and I was like it's going to be close I don't know if it's going to do it and it made it. Two droid heads less than two days uh, pretty cool and these are going to be made into helmets so they're printed very thin, like the video I did where I printed the droid legs. It's the same same technique to do those. And um, these have a lot more support material than the droid legs. Probably enough support material to make another helmet if I didn't have the support material. But um, yeah, they came out pretty good. And um, no no holes in the face or, or spots that would typically fall through if you printed without support material. But there's... You can hear them inside. It sounds like a snare on a snare drum. But those will just get snipped out. But yeah, prevented all the stuff from falling in. And all those low areas, remember this is printed like this. The orientation was up. And all those low areas, uh, totally supported by little strands. It's all it needed. And I love that. Love that. Such a cool feature. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, I'll put it on one of these little squares. This one maybe? Try to make that work. I don't know. But anyway, you kids have fun. I'll talk to you soon. Later. Bye.